it was developed by university of amsterdam and it support different type of operating system of our computer like windows mac and linux also it has simple drag and drop interface it has used uh, easy menu uh, menu intuitive analysis with real time computation and also display of all results in real time and we can run it directly from the external hard disk without having installation on our computer we can also run it through the web browser via roll apps and finally we can if we want we can uh, download it from the website and we can install it on our computer so this is the basic features of this software and uh, and from this features we can easily understand that it is a open source user friendly and flexible software so now this is the opening page opening interface of this software and you see here it is written that on the first page it is free user friendly and flexible also now this is the menu bar main menu bar of this software and it can be uh, accessed by clicking on the top left icon it looks like a three vertical hyphen uh, so first menu is open then save as export result uh, export result export data synchronized data close preferences about so here one thing is important that japs has its own file format it save the file with its own file extension that is jap and it is also support the different type of file format like csv comma separated values text that is plain text tsb that is tab separated value sap that is ibm spss data file ods that is open document spreadsheet so these are the files format that jap support and whenever we will make our data set a file that we have to keep in mind that we have to save our data with this extension otherwise it will not support the jap so first menu of this uh, software is open and you see there are four sub menu recent file computer osf data library and recent file actually we can you know that we can open the recent file that we have accessed earlier and we can browse the computer file also from the different uh, different uh, drive and uh, osf that is open science framework we can access it actually it is a frame uh, a free science platform for the research scholar we can uh, access it and there is a uh, data bank like data library uh, with some examples of data set that has been stored in jap software so we can access that uh, data file also from here next is the save and save as option using this option we can we can save our data file analysis file and analysis file also can be saved in jas format and uh, another important menu of this software is we can export the result data so result can be exported to an html file data can be exported to either a CV, csv or text file and um, synchronized data next so using this option we can update our current data file and next is the close option that is we can close the current file not the japs using this close option we uh, we can uh, close our current file so it is an another important option for us. you can see later so now is the preferences so in this menu there are three sections so we can use this according to our needs so first is data preferences there are some important options are given uh, these are the synchronized or update options that is uh, we can update the data automatically when the file is saved and uh, we can set the uh, default spreadsheet editor like uh, uh, excel or spss etc 
next is the uh, result preferences and uh, you see here we can set the exact p value that is a uh, p value that is probability value you know the exact probability value is the 0 0.3087 uh, rather than the approx p value that is which is p less than 0 0.001 sometimes we use the approx p value for our calculation purpose but here is the option there is option we can set the exact people for our analysis purpose and also we can set the uh, number of decimal for our data file so next uh, we can change the pixel resolution of our graph and also we can change the image background color here there is two option is given one is white and another is transparent so uh, uh, one of these two we can select from here uh, for our the image background color now the user interface options uh, is another important options we can uh, we can set the theme interface theme uh, there is two theme is available one is light theme another is dark theme so we can set anyone from from here from this option according to our needs according to our choice and uh, we can prefer the language the preferred language currently support the english and dutch only and uh, next is we can change we can change the front size for the accessibility and also we can scroll the speed uh, scrolling speed change the scrolling speed of this system so this is the important features of this software so see it is the two two picture of two different uh, theme one is dark theme another is light theme so uh, light theme is the default setting of the just so software and we can change it to the uh, dark theme if we want now you see jabs has a, a streamlined interface between the different spreadsheet uh, different uh, windows there are three windows you know one is a uh, uh, spreadsheet another is analysis window and the uh, last one is result window so one window at the left side has been totally collapsed here so we cannot uh, see it it not appears here and secondly that is the analysis windows this one the analysis window at the left side right we are seeing and uh, left side and at the right side this is the result views windows so there is a two vertical bar uh, we can resize the windows by clicking and dragging this uh, three vertical dot just given here and uh, within the two bar vertical bar and uh, also we can completely collapse any individual windows by clicking right or left arrow just given uh, arrow icon just given here within the two vertical bar so this is the another important features and right now uh, if we keep the our cursor on the result so we will find uh, uh, a range of options of different type of actions so we can take the actions we can execute the action that is uh, these are the we can uh, remove all analysis from our output windows we can remove all the selected analysis we can collapse the output we can add the uh, node that is important we can add the uh, uh, caption of our analysis for our uh, diagram so it is important we can copy it we can save it as image so these are the some important features of this software uh, next uh, how we can handle the data in the in this software so one important things that our data file must have a header label in the first row and once we upload our data file on the in this software so data set appears in the windows like this way we will it will be appear in this way and in case of for large data file there will be a hand yeah. icon which allows us easily scoring the uh, throughout the data now see there is some importance uh, you know the, the there are three types of uh, data we have one is nominal data ordinal data and continuous data and jabs uh, uh, automatically create the different uh, different type of symbol for the different type of data according to the nature of their data and that is uh, uh, here you see uh, the natural data is quoted by uh, jabs uh, 
by the three circle with different colors ordinal data also coded by uh, uh, three vertical three bar with different colors and uh, continuous data also uh, coded by uh, one vertical bar so these are the different images different uh, symbols used by the by this software uh, so easily we can understand by uh, seeing this things this so uh, if we see that jam has incorrectly identified the data type just click on the appropriate variable data type in the column title to change it to the correct format we can also uh, filter the data there is a options uh, we can use this to for the filtering purpose of the data that is uh, filtering means we can uh, exclude the data or, or analyze from our analysis so so uh, here you see there are four uh, labels new zealand france uh, new zealand france uh, uh, france uh, Oops, and so the, uh, these are the four levels and if we untick the uh, any level that it will not be used in the subsequent analysis so this is the another important features we can easily uh, uh, spill, filter the data and if we find a funnel type icon if we click on this click on this icon so we'll we'll find a more comprehensive set of data for filtering options this is a uh, uh, advanced level filter, filtering options we will get so if we need to filter uh, this uh, use to this type of advanced level filtering then we can do it uh, according to our needs and also expertise and here see uh, there is a uh, we can change the sequence or level of the uh, order of the level right the, the sequence is the tunga first then new zealand then france and then walls so uh, we can change it by clicking on the move up and move down options uh, so this is the another features lights now see uh, in the japan uh, new zealand tunga walls these are the sequence and it has been changed to walls tunga new zealand japan so we can change our um, uh, data level according to our needs and another important feature is that we can we can edit the data in the spreadsheet in any stage of our uh, calculation uh, just double click on the cell and the data uh, file will open up in the original spreadsheet and once we have uh, edited our, our data and saved the original file then it will uh, just automatically update is uh, reflect and and changes the uh, changes and changes that we have made so this is the beauty of this software now see uh, this is the analysis menu of this software and it can be accessed from the main toolbar and uh, currently just offer the uh, uh, parametric different type of parametric or non parametric standard uh, statistics and it is also uh, uh, offer the alternative biosian test so these are the uh, descriptive analysis, descriptive statistics, t-test, ANOVA test, uh, uh, regression, frequencies, and factors. So these are the things we can uh, we can uh, we can do uh, uh, through this software. And uh, before going to my uh, practical part of this session, I would like to uh, uh, mention some uh, basic information about these statistical tools. So now let's see. Now, first is the descriptive statistics. Actually, uh, you know, it is a uh, uh, it measures the characteristics of a data set. And uh, in the in the descriptive statistics, there are three type of measures. One is measure of central tendency, measure of dispersion, and measure of uh, shape. So first is measure of central tendency. Uh, it is the average of data set and it refers to uh, where the data is uh, centered and there are three main things is uh, mean median and mode you know so next is the measure of dispersion so it is it is also known as the measure of spread and uh, it describes the spread of a data set and uh, also the spread refers to how the data deviates from the position measure 
and there is also in uh, three things of uh, range standard deviation and variance so range uh, measures the difference between high, uh, highest and lowest value standard deviation is important usually we use this uh, uh, this uh, tools and uh, the, it is the average distance of data from their own mean and large standard deviation indicates the, they are widely scattered around the mean and variance it is the measure of the variation around the mean and uh, next is the measure of shape so if we plot the data uh, on a into a histogram then we will get an idea of the shape so there are two common statistics that measure the shape of the data one is skewness and another is kurtosis and skewness uh, is used to describe whether data is dis uh, data is distributed symmetrically around the mean or not to know these uh, things we use the skewness and uh, kurtosis measure the degree of flatness or uh, speakness of the shape so this is the important to measure that uh, to uh, common statistic that measure the shape of the data how the t test you know generally we use this test to test our hypothesis so t test is a statistical test it is used to compare the mean of two groups and the t test is uh, basically uh, limited to uh, two groups and for the multiple groups we would have to compare each pair of the groups so this is the t test and there are three type of t test you know one sample t test paired t test and two sample t test it is also known as independent t test and uh, one sample t test is the there will be one group and uh, it is a uh, compared it was to be compared with a standard value and paired t test there will be different groups from a single population and two uh, two sample t test there will be different groups from the two different population so this is the three uh, three type of t test now the anova anova uh, is the analysis of variance you know it is used to compare and uh, contrast the mean of two or more population and there are different forms of anova uh, you know uh, that is one form of anova is ancova the analysis of covariance it is an extended form of anova it is used to compare one variable in two or more population while considering their uh, other variables and another form of ANOVA is a MANOVA that is multivariate analysis of variance. Uh, it is sim simply an ANOVA with several dependent variables. So ANOVA test for the difference in mean between the two or more groups and while MANOVA test for the uh, difference in two or more vector, uh, vector of uh, means. So this is the difference between ANOVA and MANOVA. Now the population, uh, population so uh, it studies the relationship between two variables. So uh, we use this uh, this correlation tools uh, to to measure the degree of association between two variables. So two variables are said to be correlated if the change of one variable result in a corresponding change in the other variable. So we use this to decide the degree of association between the variables. So there are two types of uh, correlation. One is um, one is positive correlation. Another is negative correlation. So positive correlation, you know, the, if the variables uh, varying towards the same direction, that may be the positive direction, that may be the negative direction, but both are varying to the same direction. That is the posi uh, positive correlation and negative correlation. The one variable is increasing and another variable is decreasing that or vice versa that is that is also known as the negative correlation and another another uh, uh, term is you know uh, in uh, significant terms in the correlation that is the core coefficient of correlation uh, which indicates to what or what extent uh, two variables are related so this is the uh, different types of correlation now the regression you know it it denotes that estimate or prediction of the average value of one variable for a, a specific value of the other variable so we can say the regression analysis is a mathematical measure of the average 
relationship between two or more values, uh, more variables in terms of the original unit of the data. And there, uh, and a linear relationship, uh, relationship exists between the dependent and independent variable, you know, and dependent variable is that variable, those variation is being explained by the other variables. And the independent variable is the variable, those uh, variation is used to explain that of the dependent variable. So these are the different types of uh, uh, statistical tools. And I have mentioned uh, here some basic information about the some important statistical tools that we generally use in our research purpose. So next, next I will shift to my second part that is the practical part of this session. So. And you know, it is a very user friendly software, free software, and uh, just type jazz, jazz software, so apt software, and we'll get the so here. See. There is a three options for downloading of this software, one for Windows, one for Mac, and one for uh, Linux. So uh, as we, as I am using the uh, Windows software for my system, so I have downloaded this, um, this version of this uh, software, and I have already installed in my system. So it is not difficult. There is no customization. There is no configuration. You just click download and install and click next, next, next and finish. So there is no problem. There is no difficulty. Now let me open the software that I have installed here. So it is a free, we need not to pay anyone to any rupees for this software. So we can use this software and also we have, as it is an open source, uh, is source code is also open. If we have the expertise, we can customize according to our ourselves. So let it open it. See, so you have seen this interface. This is the welcome interface of this software. And uh, here you see it is a free, user friendly, and flexible. So, this is the main menu of this software, main menu icon of this software. And this is the statistical menu. So, first, so see, there is the different type of menu listed here. First is preferences. See, data. In the data preferences, there are two options. Uh, one is important options is two, that is uh, synchronized uh, uh, automatically on data file saved and use the default spreadsheet. So we will tick these two options and result now see we can set the p value exact p value and also we can set the decimal number uh, of our data file so just click plus minus and you can set the decimal number according to our need and we can also change the background image by white or transparent whatever maybe we can change it and interface. So there are two interfaces you know, one is light and another is dark. So if you change to dark, this is the interface 
color so and you know light is the default setting of this software we can change to dark if you want and this is the preferred language we can change the uh, uh, we can change the font size of the system we can change also the scroll speed of the system so this is the preference main uh, menu uh, main options are i have mentioned and in the opening options there are three four things sub menu is here you will just see recent file computer and osf data file so i will use the computer i will browse the file from our drive i have kept a one file on our desktop in the data so you know the different type of data set we required for the different type of analysis statistical analysis so i have uh, created some data file here so first i will show you the descriptive statistics how we we'll calculate it how will it very easy there is no problem so you see this is the uh, data set uh, name of the passengers different type of passengers are given a b c d and uh, class of the passenger and age of the passenger gender of the passenger and body temperature of the passenger so uh, this is the appearance of our data file on the software and first you see here if we want to edit any data so just click anywhere double click anywhere on this sheet and we will get the original data file it will open up and we can edit any figure now see here k is missing the age of k patient patient k is missing i can put the uh, age of this uh, passenger say i am giving his age is 30 so then save yes now see i am putting the 30 against the k passenger so you see k is fill up is reflected the data there is updated the data in our software so we need not to uh, upload the file again once so it is automatically update the data so any stage if we edit the data if you want to edit the data we can do and it is automatically updated so this is the uh, uh, one of the beauty of this software and now how we can filter the data suppose gender you see there are two label male and female so these are the two label uh, in the gender column so if we want to uh, antic one just see the all the data having with male became dimmed so it will it will not be used in the subsequent analysis so we can filter our data if we think we if we think that this data will not be included in our analysis then we can filter our data like this way so this is the another important part of this software and uh, any filter we any any column we can filter from here if we want to filter the class of the passenger then now see the third class passenger became dimmed so this is the technique of filtering data it is a simple technique now there is a advanced level filtering option is the see here is the funnel type icon and click on this we will get the more options for the filtration of data and uh, we can use these options according to our need according to our expertise so now see if we put the let's say first class 
so we have to write the command which i want to filter which data we i want to filter from here so then apply the this filtering option then now see all the first class uh, passenger became tuned so in this way we can filter our data by using simple and advanced level filtering option and there are so many you see so many options so you can use this option according to our needs and also according to our expertise now i come to the calculation part so this is the descriptive statistics see this is the field the level of data data field we have you we have used in our file data file and this is the different type of symbol we can easily understand from this symbol that what type of data uh, what type of data it is what is the nature of the data of this type of this column so it is the it is the symbol of nominal value and it is the symbol of continuous value that is it is the number and it is the mm, there is no numerical uh, value so now here we need the variables so we have to put the variables here we will get the result we can use the one variable we can use more than one variable here there are uh, there are two variables we can use at a time two variables that will be depend on our needs on our calculation on our uh, on our uh, on our study or uh, the what type of cal calculation we what type of uh, result we need so this is the result of descriptive descriptive statistics and also we can split it there is a splitter option we can split it this result by gender so just so just it is just click and get the result very simple and uh, just see the age with respect of gender and temperature with respect of gender we get the result and also we can change the split also from here we can change the another splitter we can use another splitter so you see here first class second class third class all are showing the calculation and we can use the one variables we can use the more than one variable there is need so so now see what type of calculation we can perform from this i told you that uh, statistic uh, descriptive statistics there are covered three type of measurement on a central tendency that is includes the mean median mode so mean median mode so this is the result of mean median mode you see i just click here and result is given in the result window so it is very easy and flexible also and uh, next is standard deviation that is measurement of dispersion standard deviation range uh, variance and range so we get the result standard deviation variance range. and also there is a option measurement of shape that is skewness and kurtosis we get the result so in this way we have to just select the variables what what type of variables i want to calculate uh, i want to get the result on what type of variables so we have to select the variables and then what type of statistical tools uh, uh, tools i want to use that is to be tick nothing more so this is the 
and now see how we'll make the diagram from here from with this data set so plots use the plot and uh, distribution plot so this is the distribution plot now see i take the distribution plot we'll get the diagram from here on the basis of this data set very simple very easy and also we can we can create the another type of diagram correlation plots just see so this is the correlation diagram so in this way we can make the any type of pie chart qq plots any type of uh, diagram according to our need according to our purpose so this is the things uh, we can calculate our statistical problems and one thing we can add the note we can add the caption of this result we can copy it just i have copied and open the open the our is our paper suppose it is our paper so just paste it so this is the table with the mean median mode so in this way we can paste it our thesis now so i will show you the another type of test test it is very easy procedure same and uh, just i told you that we have to use the close option to close the current file so here current file is this data and uh, for using this file current file we have to use the close close option close menu and as i am going to the another statistical tools that is ttl ttl so so we have to upload the, the another type of data so there are you know in the ttl test there are three type of ttl test one is sample uh, one is one sample ttl test first i am showing you the one sample ttl test that is there will be a one variable the data will consist one variable so this this is the one sample t test just put the variable in this box and we'll get the result t test this is the df that is a degree of freedom this is the probability value as we did not set the exact value so it takes the approx value of probability so less than 0.001 so this is the t test of result of one sample t test so in this way we can we can calculate the uh, t test pair t test pair sample t test so see there is two variables and we have to put the two variables in their appropriate place see i have given one variable results nothing so i have i have to put two variables then we will get the result so in this case paired sample test we need the two variables so this is the t value this is the df value this is the p value so next is the
independent t test there there should have some category some groups and also variables so this is the independent t test now here variables so we have to put the variables here result is nothing because we have to put the group value here so then it will give the value so this is the independent uh, sample t test so in this way we can calculate the t test also it is very common we generally use this test and uh, so in this way we can find the result of t test of different set of data according to our need now the anova the calculation of anova so you you see so so there are dip, anova and another form of anova ancova man, man, manova so just see so we need the dependent variable here dependent variable is age and temperature so anyone we can uh, set here if we need the both then we have to uh, use the individually of these two variable we cannot use this at a time then fixed fa factor this factor here there are two fixed factor gender and class we can use this um, uh, fixed factor more than one so i used here one um, uh, fixed factor gender and we can use another fixed factor so we'll get the uh, anova of age with respect to gender and class passenger class so this is the technique of anova next is the ancova so ancova is difference from the anova we need the covariates here so dependent we put the dependent value uh, we have to put the covariates and then the fixed factors so this is the result of ancova the sum square uh, degree of freedom mean square f value p value residuals all are comes here so so in this way we can analyze our data according to our needs so you can easily understand from this things uh, that it is not much more difficult it is very easy to calculate to operate this software so i think we can easily use this software and may i uh, i would like to conclude this session so from this session we would like we can easily understand the the software is very useful user friendly and flexible statistical software package and all over world more than 119 universities where teaching uh, teachers are using this software and you know that jabs is a free and open source graphical program for statistical analysis it offers standard analysis procedure of statistics the aim of this uh, the aim of this software is to help statistical uh, practitioners to reach maximum informative conclusion with a minimum of pass the interface of this uh, software allow us to conduct a uh, statistical analysis in seconds hence as a research scholar we may use this software and uh, for our statistical analysis so it may be a useful tools to us it is a fresh way to do statistics so thank you for hearing me then
so dear if you have any question please put up your question Akash Babu, is it a free software? It is a totally free and open source software. There is no, uh, uh, it is not pro uh, proprietary software. We need not to pay anything uh, for this software. Uh, sorry, your sound is not clear. Please, you have to do it. 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 You have Sir, you have taken this dependent variable as age and temperature, uh, whereas you have taken the gender as uh, independent variable. So how you are determining, sir, whether it is a dependent or independent variable in the calculation that depends on the actually uh, uh, dependent and independent variable you know that uh, that variation depends on the other variable that is the dependent variables and the those variables uh, basically uh, is used to explain the dependent variables that is the independent variable so uh, we here as we are the researcher, we know the which uh, data is dependent, which data is independent. So we have to uh, know these things. And uh, from the sim uh, symbol of the uh, JAPS that is quoted, the data, from here we cannot understand the what is for the uh, 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 independent variable uh, data, what is, what is dependent variable data. That means you mean to say, sir, that uh, this gender and uh, temperature are dependent variable. So yes. how we can explain that sir like uh, if gender for particular gender uh, uh, the temperature uh, varies as per as the ages go up the temperature varies something like that uh, sorry see dependent variable as you said is that uh, two variables are dependent each other so yes when the age, wage increases the temperature increases or something like that sir what do you mean to say i need a clarification that part I agree that according to your research only, you can you have to uh, decide whether it is dependent or independent, right, sir? So yes. In, uh, yeah, in this case, I have a doubt that uh, you are taking this uh, dependent variable age and temperature. So you, this is correlated. You mean to say that this is related? No, uh, age and temperature are both uh, dependent or independent that we cannot say uh, in this way. That is to be, uh, uh, we have to examine the okay, if temperature. Okay. Okay, right, okay. sir. I have a question. Okay, tell me Hello? a question, please. Uh, uh, sir, we'll see a statistical analysis type. I have a question. Statistical analysis put together and a minimum particular sample of particular variables. So, I have a good result with the body. Now, Sheta actually a uh, software. I have a tick code. I have a result of a sample. Amda, Nile Amda Rejalta Pabo, Cheta Amader ja population achievum population rupore amda j dibun uh sample tick colour j divino techniques such as a techniques would depend core amadeke, sample ta tick put away, population take. Tar por is a sample unit amda cascore, uh amda result and issue pabo. Or dark into software, amadeke tick core devena shetami potomi bullet is a software amadek kuno tools ba technique tick core dite parvena. It are just like a calculator, ami data set take upload curvo, and say calculate core debe. Eta, as a researcher, we have to decide with the consultation with the guide. Then we can do it. Who is uh, how? How many? Uh, uh, how number of uh, sample we need for this calculation? That is to be decided by you. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Hello, sir. Ha, tell me the question. 
Uh, sir, I, as you said in your presentation that this application could be also done online. So if you could just elaborate how it could be done online. Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, as you, you said, can use the, uh, you can use the chat box also, please. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Sir, I just wanted to ask, is it possible? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, We when we go to field research, especially in case of uh, design, uh, we get a lot of data which we'd like to turn, turn into the design. So far, I was using Excel software, just Excel, Microsoft Excel, to get those these kind of charts and data and all those kind of things to decide what kind of color, what kind of form, everything is useful to design. Uh, how this particular software, how can I kind of fix it to that? Uh, you can actually, uh, there is a facility uh, in the Excel sheet also, we can calculate from uh, the Excel sheet, but all the facilities that have in the software, specific uh, specific, specific statistical uh, software made for this calculation, all are not available in the uh, 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 Excel sheet, but primary calculation we can uh, do perform from the Excel, we can use the Excel sheet, we can make the mean, median, mode from the different type of uh, uh, calculation is there we we can use that and descriptive analysis side we uh, uh, we can uh, we can do uh, in the excel uh, as you know but we have to make the column different type of column we have to make so that that column basis they can calculate the result they will give the result but here we have to know make to there no need, no need to make the extra column for this calculation. We just, we have the draw data and we upload the data, then we get the result. Okay. So you, you actually say by doing this, uh, we save one more step like that kind of stuff, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Dr. Das, for your all nice presentation. So, uh, if any more query, just put up in the chat box. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all of you. Okay, thank you very much. So, no need for photo, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, please. Uh, yes, sir. I had put my question in the chat box. Okay. Please open your video, all of you. Okay, I love it. Oh, yeah, all oh, yeah.
ओके नीनी जी ओके थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू अच्छा अपनी लिप कर सेव अपन आ एंड 